We start with breaking news. Russian investigators say they have confirmed the identities of the 10 people killed in a plane crash on Wednesday, including the head of the Wagner mercenary group, Yevgeny Pugoshin. After forensic testing, Russia's investigative committee said that DNA samples collected at the crash site corresponded to the remains of individuals named on the passenger list. Earlier this week, Russia's Civil Aviation Authority said Prigozhin, along with some of his top lieutenants, were on board. DW's Russia analyst Konstantin Eggert is following this story for us. Konstantin, it's hardly a stretch to say many have long regarded the Russian government to be less than, shall we say, transparent. Any reason we shouldn't trust what Russian investigators are now saying, that DNA essentially confirms Prigozhin is dead? Well, it's interesting that a very brief announcement from the investigative committee uh, said that uh, the DNA tests confirmed the identities of all people on the passenger list without actually mentioning them, or rather of people on the passenger list. So I think that um, it's the, there's still a bit of an ambiguity in the wording of uh, uh, of the investigative committee's uh, press release. Uh, personally, I think that so far, there are not many reasons to doubt that uh, Prigozhin was on this plane. Uh, at least nothing else was proved con con conclusively. But I find it interesting that generally um, Putin and, and the investigative community, generally, I think that in their official pronouncements, uh, the Kremlin officials try to avoid even naming Prigozhin by name. And that is of interest. By the way, it's interesting also that among people on the uh, passenger uh, manifest was uh, Dmitry Utkin, a.k.a. Wagner, the man who actually created uh, this uh, private military company, mercenary group. Um, he's not mentioned by name either, at least not mentioned a lot. So that is that is a detail which which cannot escape my attention. Mm. Did investigators shed any more light on the possible cause of the plane crash? No, there is nothing about it on the press release. They only call it an um, aviation catastrophe or accident. So what they do confirm this, is that the plane crashed, but no reasons for that are given. And frankly speaking, uh, whether we're speaking about you know, an investigation in a normal democratic country or in a country like Putin's where, you know, the head of the investigative, investigative committee is actually Putin's um, long-term friend, Mr. Bastrykin, you would still not expect definitive results of uh, this kind of investigation, what caused the crash, to be ready uh, so soon. So we will have to wait. Mm. I suspect uh, this is not the last time we'll be talking to you about this issue. That's uh, DW's Russia analyst, Konstantin Eggert. Many thanks, as always. Thank you.